Behind us is the Justice Center, the home of UNC Asheville basketball. The Bulldogs have played there for the past 48 years. The 2010-11 season was the last season the Bulldogs would play there, as UNC Asheville will move to Kimmel Arena starting next season. But this last season was a memorable one, as the Bulldogs closed down Justice Center with a Big South Conference championship. This highlight tape will take you through the 2011 season, from the start of the season right through the NCAA tournament in Washington, D.C. Hit J.P. Prim from way down now. And it's Williams with the one-handed flush. Oh, he got it! it. Dickey got it! He hit the three at the buzzer. Blocked by Williams. What a block by J.W. Lane with the one-handed jam. Oh, I will see you at the NCAA tournament. We're going dancing! The UNC Asheville Bulldogs began the 2011 season with cautious optimism. Asheville returned four starters in Tent Letterman from the previous year. This Bulldog team was also determined to take the next step. The past two seasons had been good years, but each season had ended with a loss on the home court of the regular season champion during the semifinals of the Big South Conference Tournament. The new season would begin at Auburn as the Bulldogs would help open the Tigers' new $90 million arena. The first game at Auburn Arena seemed to be following the script pretty well, as the Tigers, spurred on by a sellout crowd, built a 16-point halftime lead. In the second half, Asheville began to rally. Matt Dickey, playing his home state for the first time in his career, helped lead the comeback. The Dogs cut the lead at two points, before dramatically sending the game to overtime. Get the roll, it's bouncing around, Williams tipped it in! What a tip by John Williams, we're tied with 30 seconds remaining! In overtime, the Bulldogs quickly took the lead. The game would then come down to one final possession. Two seconds, one second, the Bulldogs have Stevenson stole the ball! ball! Stevenson stole the ball! How do you do? When it was over, the Bulldogs would win on the road to open a season for the first time since 1978 as Asheville upset Auburn 70-69 to in overtime. Eddie Biedenbaugh's teams, as always, would play a very tough and demanding non-conference schedule. The Bulldogs would not be able to do what they did at Auburn, but would have their moments. In the season's fourth game, Asheville would travel to eventual ACC champion North Carolina and give the Tar Heels fits as it would outscore them in the second half. The Tar Heels went on to win the game 80-69, but J.P. Prim would dazzle the Smith Center crowd with 21 points. Asheville would battle through its tough non-conference schedule, take on the likes of Georgetown and Ohio State. Since Georgetown from the floor, 9 of 18. Left of the set of deep three, Matt Dickey. And the Trent Meyer down low, J.P. Prim puts it up and scores. He has to get the inbounds, and now dumps the ball into Juan Nunu down the lane, puts up a turnaround jumper and scores. The Clark comes into the lane, has the ball stripped away by Dickey off to the driving Cornell Jackson. Jackson takes it to the rack and lays it up and in. The Bulldogs' final non-conference game of 2010 would be against mountain rival Western Carolina at Justice Center. A sellout crowd on a cold night would watch the team's battle with a late Bulldog rally, sending the game to overtime. In overtime. Prim would score seven of his points. And the head of the JP is fouled, lays it in, and he was fouled. Plus, the Bulldogs got some key buckets from Jerron Lane to pull out an 85 to 79 victory. Asheville would struggle out of the gates in Big South Conference play. The Bulldogs would start out one and three with close home losses to VMI and Liberty. Now gets it back ahead for Cunningham. He goes up with the big top lock. Works off a ball screen, picks up his dribble, nowhere to go. Here's an open three for the right wing, up and in for Michael Sparks. And for Lane. Lob pass, Williams, look out for Lane! Jeans it home, and John Williams! Keenan drives, leaves it for Covington, lays it up and in for two, he was wide open. This hands off to Gordon, Evan Gordon, down the left edge of the lane, runner is good, and Liberty takes it early. 2-0 lead. Long 10 and a half minute stretch, and here's a steal from Stevenson. Poked it right away from Anderson. Layup is good on the other end. Chris Stevenson with 10 points. And both free throws good. That makes it 59-52. Down on the other end. Dickey, free at the buzzer. Count it. And so Asheville hits just its second three-point of the game, and it just makes the score four instead of seven, the final deficit. The final score, Liberty, 59, and UNC Asheville, 55. 
but Asheville would show on a road trip in South Carolina that the Bulldogs would be heard from before the year is over. On January 6, the Dogs would hand defending Big South Conference champion Winthrop its worst home loss in 15 years with an 88-67 win. Two days later, Asheville would earn its biggest Big South Conference road win ever with a 74-48 victory at Presbyterian College. The 2010-11 season was full of ups and downs for the Bulldogs. There were great moments, but some tough losses as well. The toughest may have come at Justice Center on February the 19th. Asheville competed in the bracket buster against Northeastern of the Colonial Conference. The Bulldogs surged to a 19-point lead early in the second half, thanks to plays like this from John Williams. Dickey, bounce pass. Here's Stevenson. Williams! But the Huskies, who early in the season had beaten Final Four participant Virginia Commonwealth, rallied and stunned the Bulldogs 83-82. to Stevenson gets it into Prim. Six seconds left. JP. JP pull up three on the way short. Stevenson rebound at the buzzer. Yeah! Stevenson hit the three! Stevenson hit the three! Stevenson hit the three and we're headed to overtime! We're going to check the monitor, but it should count. Oh, we're going to say it's a two. That's what it is. It's a two. Stevenson's foot was on the line. Wow. Chris Stevenson's foot was on the line. It is a two-pointer, and Asheville loses by one. I thought it was clearly before the buzzer it was, but his foot was on the line. Unbelievable. It's a two, and Asheville loses by 183 to 82. What a huge win for Northeastern, and what a devastating loss for UNC Asheville. With the record of 13 and 13, the Bulldogs entered the final week of the season with a tough schedule ahead of them. Asheville was in the midst of playing four games in seven days. The stretch would continue with a visit to Big South Conference regular season champion Coastal Carolina. The Shauna Clears had blown the Bulldogs out earlier in the season at Justice Center but this evening would be much different. Ash will lead for the majority of the game with a big help from Jerron Lane. The game appeared to be headed to overtime when the Bulldogs defense made one of the biggest plays in school history. Brandon Crawford will inbound. He will be guarded by Jerron Lane, so they will guard the inbound man. And all Lane wants to do is tip it. Just tip the ball if you can. Crawford to mid-court, intercepted by Dickey. He gets a shot off, and he hit it! Will it count is the question. Asheville may have stolen one on the road. 61-58. They hand it to Crawford. Crawford takes it from the official. Long pass to mid-floor. Stolen by Dickey at the buzzer. He got it! Dickey got it! He hit the three at the buzzer, and the UNC Asheville Bulldogs have stunned Coastal Carolina, and I can't believe it! Matt Dickey is the hero! <laughs> oh, my! He stole the pass and hit the three. 61-58, UNC Asheville wins it. Unbelievable shot by Matt Dickey. He went up in the air, double clutched in midair, and threw up the three-pointer. Ugly shot, but it goes in and counts. UNC Asheville wins, and they stay in third place in the Big South Conference. Unbelievable shot by Matt Dickey. When it was over, the Bulldogs had stunned Coastal Carolina 61-58 on a play ESPN would label not just the play of the day, but the play of the month. Matt Dickey would be featured on several national interviews throughout the next day. It would be a preview of things to come. The regular season ended with an impressive 81-58 victory over league foe Radford. Bulldog fans celebrated homecoming with the easy win that was never contested. On this fun day, Asheville fans would say goodbye to Justice Center as the 48-year-old building was hosting its final regular season game. Oh, I didn't think he was going to get up that high. He takes the bump, kicks it back to Stevenson. Stevenson had it stripped, went right to DJ. DJ wraparound pass, corner, prim for three. Got it! Nice pass from DJ cutting in. Asheville ahead for JP. Long, good for Stevenson with a play! Timeout, Radford! 
Short corner for D.J. Cunningham. Back to Meyer, who's trapped. Lane swings it down to Williams. There's another dunk. Trap swings it over to Lane, right down to Cunningham. D.J. splits the double team, lays it up and in for two. The three, and halfway down and out. Cunningham offensive rebound. Cunningham's got an opening and dunks it home. Now the dunk meter is going up. That's six now. Shot clock. Lane swings it to Williams. Williams blows by the defenders, goes up, lays it home. Nice move from Williams. He has 10. Leaves it back for Prim. He drives back over to Williams. Nice catch. Goes up with the right hand. Gets the rope. Can't catch it. Faulkner now three on one. Prim. Great bounce pass to Dickey. How about that for an assist? Stolen. And Seligson got a hand on it, and he gets it right back. Throws ahead for Harn. Look out. Jeremy Harn lays it in and was fouled. A chance for the old-fashioned three-point play. Afterwards, an emotional post-game ceremony would say goodbye to Justice Center. How about a big hand for the Hartman family as it was their father, Bob Hartman, who led the Bulldogs to two NAIA District 6 championships and is the father of Bulldog basketball. For the final basket, we have asked the all-time leading scorer for the UNC Asheville men's basketball program, Bamford Jones, to do the honors. <laughs> Eddie Bamford beat Bob's whole defense. The Hall of Fame in 2009. He finished his career with 1,919 points. Bamford was twice an All-District 26 selection and an honorable mention All-American. Bamford scored the final basket, and he'll take a pass from former teammate and latest inductee into the UNC Asheville Athletic Hall of Fame, George Gilbert. George's second all-time in assists at UNC Asheville with 460. George, go ahead and make that pass to Bamford. <laughs> Bamford Jones, 15-footer, got it! There it is. All the big hand for Bamford Jones and George Gilbert and all the Bulldogs who have played here over the last a uh, great moment here at the Justice Center as the final basket is scored. Joey Green is out there, Bamford Jones, Eddie Green, George Gilbert all getting together for a photograph.